Yeah? Uh-huh. So Maverick wanted to come out and see how the ditch was doing. They just came through yesterday and cleared this ditch out with the scooper machine and that might help the water flow a little bit easier when the rains come. Okay, um, right here in the ditch after they dug it out, Ashley noticed something kind of poking out of the dirt here. And here it is. And now I cannot figure out what this thing is. None of us know. Let me show it to you. It's got a hole in the top. It's got a bowl shaped bottom with holes in it. You see? Now, the first thing that came to my mind was some kind of pie vent, if you guys know what that is. But, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it. It doesn't have openings on the side of the bottom or anything. And I just can't figure it out. What is it? Does anybody have any idea what this is or what it is used for? Because it's kind of strange. It's got a little bit of finish on the inside. You can see it's pink in there around the top, but not too nice. It's not finished. Strange. Look at this. This one is dying. Yeah? What is it? Some beads. Beans? Uh-huh. Beads are inside. Do you know that? Cool. I don't know what kind of beans those are, but it's kind of neat. Maverick, what do you think this is? Um, I don't know. Do I have to be so, like, awkwardly stretched? I look like I have a tiny head. <laughs> okay. We are still working on our master suite renovation, fixing up this old house and making a really cozy spot for us in this space. We're building a cathedral ceiling up here. We've been doing a lot of framing. It's almost ready, but now we got to put in some extra support beams. What we want to do is, instead of doing a traditional rafter tie system going across, we decided to put in some mid-span beams to carry the load of the roof rafters. And that's going to help prevent sagging, spreading, any kind of structural problems. I think it's going to work really good and keep the ceiling wide open just like this. So today, my goal is to build two beams, one on either side of this roof, and that will be enough to hold it and keep it from spreading. You guys will see it when it's all done. It's gonna make a lot of sense. Yesterday we prepped by putting in these end nailers. You can see along the wall there on either side. And then we marked out all of the roof rafters so I can know where to cut my bird's mouth. A bird's mouth is just a little notched cut where the rafter sits on the beam or the wall. So it's just a little triangle notched out. And I did all this slow, tedious marking out work off camera so that we can get right to the action. So let's do it.
Is this allowed? Yeah. Why? I'm gonna glue it. Of course it's allowed. It's the best way. What? Extra strength. Right? Maybe. Don't worry about the end lining up. Just let me do mine. What's wrong? I was thinking I did that wrong. It was supposed to go on this side. Let's flip this over up here to this side. Okay, now what side of this does it have to be on? Right here. These Again. are the bottoms facing each other and I want the grooves to be on the bottom. Okay. So we just flip it? We're gonna put it right here. Well, you think there's still enough glue on there? Probably. It doesn't really matter. It would be okay even without it. What I what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come from this side. I'm gonna alternate. And then I'll flip it over and mark it out and come from the other side on oh. the opposite. Okay. And that way it's not all the threads on one board. Mm-hmm. What else have you? Let me just carry these over. I'm nervous about this. Let me double check one more time. In class? Yeah follow through with the ball. It should be this end going this way, shouldn't it? Yeah, if this end is supposed to be on this side. Yeah. Because right now it goes with the... So you're saying like this. Yeah. Like, like this one. Okay, I did it. Got the first cut done. This beam is complete. You'll notice a channel down here, the way we built that. And that's gonna be for actually wiring later on. So you guys will see how that comes into play. We're gonna see if this fits. If we cut it right, this beam is ready to go. I'm excited to try it. 
and it's starting to sprinkle, so we'll try to get it in place. You're carrying that? Yeah. We have it all ready to go. I hope you guys will see it okay with the lighting in here. Um, we're just gonna do it and try to get it up there. So, this is a little scary, but that's the one piece I have to prop this side up. But I have one piece to prop this side up. But once it's sitting in that bird mouth, it shouldn't be able to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. I was thinking if I could get it up on this ledge and then I could walk the other end up, then you just make sure I'm not gonna pull it off. Yeah. We'll see. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Okay, that was scary. Don't make noises when I'm trying to get down. I hope so. Okay, it's in the groove. Is that fine? Get this one up good enough. Hold on. Oh, why is it wedged? Hold on. All right, hold on. Is that good? Yeah, for now. Let's see where it's hitting. Okay. Yeah, there's a gap. It's like an inch. Oh, there you go. Ready? Yeah. Now we're not done yet, but we got our first beam in and it was a huge accomplishment. This thing was heavy and a little bit difficult, but we did it. And now it's not just gonna be propped up with one two by four, we still gotta build this out. I'm gonna work on that now, but this thing is in, it's touching the roof perfectly and super strong. It's so oh. quiet. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> wow, that's cool. What? That side's done. Except no, for lagging. No, no, I still need one more. One more? Yeah, because you gotta sandwich it in. You're kidding, right? No. So now we just added another one on the end here. That goes all the way up to the angled piece. Do you mind getting stuff for me? What do you need? Screws. Hammer. Maybe I'll... We made a lot of progress last night, but now that it's daytime, 
I want to show you this beam up close and you can see how the roof is sitting on it. We bird mouth cut it so it sits fully on the top of this beam and all of these are cut pretty cleanly and it looks really good and the idea is that this is in the mid span of these rafters and it's going to carry the weight and you can see how we got these supports fully carrying the load straight down there's a floor joist right underneath it right here and underneath that is the pier the, the weight is going straight to the ground so now that that is up we got to strap it and attach it we're going to attach it to each rafter so we will be doing that soon and that's going to carry the roof load this is carrying the roof load and it's going to prevent the ceiling the roof from settling and settling is what causes spread that's where the wall pushes out so the whole concept is if we can carry the roof so it can't settle it can't spread and that's going to keep everything locked in plus we got our collar ties up at the top and we're going to have another beam on this side well guys it's just been a rainy day all day today i've been waiting for it to clear up so that i could get that second beam built and put in the roof but it's just won't let up so i think i'm going to just wrap it up i'm not going to worry about doing anything else tonight we're not going to have enough time to get that second beam in in the previous video Ashley picked up a couple of boxes of string lights for a special project. Ashley found something cool. String lights, two packs. Are you ready for that reveal? Yep. So isn't that so cool? <laughs> Fancing up the trampoline. We got Let's check it out. We got them swagged going around it. All the way around. So what was the inspiration behind this little project? Um, we were bouncing on it at night and I thought how cool it would look if we had like lights strung up around the outside. So that's what I did and it's pretty cool it looks cool and these are LED lights so they don't get like hot so they won't be a problem for the netting mm -hmm. I would go inside to show it but I don't want to get my socks wet <laughs> it's like raining right now a little bit well guys I don't think we have anything else to add we hope you enjoyed the video we didn't get done as much work as we wanted to but we still made big progress that beam was heavy Mm -hmm. And I'm just so glad it fit like a glove. Like it just fit. The cuts were perfect. Mm -hmm. And don't worry about those weight points. Uh, it is carrying the load of the roof. But we have it lined up under the piers like I was saying. It's going to be really sturdy. And I really, this is the uh, solution to keeping our, this room is 24 feet wide. It's a really wide span. You'll see cathedral ceilings generally not that big. They're room sized this right. is a huge span so this method is going to be equivalent to a structural ridge beam but instead of being in the middle we're kind of breaking it and spreading it apart and essentially creating a tiny roof so now you're thinking from the peak just to those midpoints is the roof i feel like this way is stronger than the other way yeah so and it's also beads having 24 foot or 20 foot long rafter ties, ties yes yeah, spanning the room yeah. and i just want to give a shout out to brady who left a comment and really is the inspiration behind these beams in the in the roof because i was going to do super long rafter ties kind of supported in the middle and it was going to make the ceiling not look as pretty but i was going to do that because i wasn't thinking broadly enough about how to solve this this cathedral ceiling problem he told me to be careful with the rafter ties because basically it could go good, it could go bad. You know, mm -hmm. you could really ugly up the room and maybe they're not going to be the, the right route to go. Maverick's kicking a ball around over here, <laughs> if, if you hear all that. Um, and this way it'll just be nice and open. After I got that comment, I put some extra, extra deep thought into it and I said, you're, you're right. 
You're right, I don't want to mess up this beautiful ceiling with a bunch of rafter ties going across. And I said, let me go a different route. So thanks for the uh, inspiration. Yeah, thanks for watching. We're losing light, but you guys get to enjoy the lights. And we'll be back soon with another video. So until next time, take care. Bye.